my association re primarily represents general contractors. And But first, I just want to say hello to one of our champions, our infrastructure champions in New York, Assemblywoman Mary Jane Shimsky, uh, before I go on. But uh, but clearly, um, um, skilled labor concerns are, are an issue. Um, materials price escalation has been an, has been an issue here in New York. But when you look at New York, we're really it, it's re New York is in a unique situation because of our older infrastructure. It costs more to replace the older infrastructure, whether it's the Thruway Authority bridges, Metropolitan Transportation Authority system. We have wooden water pipes that are that are breaking here in, in Albany in the past year. Um, our, our, our needs and, and but our resources are are, are incredibly limited. Uh, our roads and bridges continue to to decline despite the bipartisan infrastructure law and the and the massive amount of money from from uh, Washington. But um, before I, uh, I get too carried away here, I, clearly we need to. New York is grateful for the leadership of U.S. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. The billions that the senator has brought in here, along with his colleagues in in in, uh, in, in, uh, in Washington, uh, is unprecedented. That is the type the types of money and, and for the types of projects, the old aging infrastructure projects that we have here in New York, that require uh, extensive repairs or replacement. But it also should be noted, and, and we really kicked off this call in a bipartisan nature. The congressional Republicans that had vote that voted for the first bipartisan infrastructure law. Uh, there were several here in New York. Um, I know personally they got a lot of grief for voting for that bill from their constituents. Uh, how could you, you know, how can you go against? Uh, how can you vote for a Democratic bill? Well, that's because they're smart, and they're and <laughs> they're smart legislators who care about their constituents, and they drop politics for that. So it's really important. Finding solutions, though, long term is the key here in New York. We have mounting state debt. We have uh, already some of the highest taxes. Uh, in the country. Um, it's difficult uh, to uh, find um, a consensus here on many infrastructure projects. We do have some hope though, there's manufacturing dollars flowing in primarily again from Senator Schumer and the governor from Micron and other, other manufacturing. Um, we also find it's important that not just contractors talk about this issue. We need a much, much broader coalition here to uh, really kind of discuss what we're doing here and really to to raise it um, and, and, and raise it to the importance that we all require that's required of it. Um, we as an association work with mayors and local governments. We work with organized labor. Well, we work with we work with anybody and everybody that will listen. Um, but again, New York is an older state. We have major, major issues and I'm having Zoom issues here. I apologize for that. Um, but uh, but thank you for the opportunity today. Very much appreciated. And uh, we look forward to working with Stuart and uh, Alpeca and, uh, and Angela to find solutions. This is an important tool in the toolbox.